What about man's relationship to God and God's relationship to man? Man is God's creature. is utterly dependent on God and is nothing without God. God, on the other hand, is entirely independent, does not need man. God does not need anything. God does not need our prayers. God does not need even our uh, statement that he is one and unique. It is for our benefit that he asks us to realize these things, to, to pray and to uh, realize his oneness. Not for his own sake, because he is in no need of anything. So... What about this oneness? The what? The oneness, the unity. Oneness. Oneness means that there is absolutely no reality apart from God, no deeper reality, that God embraces everything. That everything that exists, or could potentially exist, comes from God and is a result of God's will. So this unifies man with God and with nature yes, with yes, the, the rest of creation? First it unifies God with man. It gives him inner peace also. It unifies men with men because they all are cogs of the same wheel. And uh, this is for our benefit that the Quran stresses from the beginning to the end that men must recognize the oneness of God. Is this a different kind of oneness than from other religions? I mean, Islam's concept of oneness, is this different? Of course. It is, uh, I don't know of any religion which stresses the uh, oneness in that sense. Now, for example, Judaism is also very monotheistic. It has the concept of oneness. Mm -hmm. but. The concept of God by the Jews is mainly the God of the people of Israel. It is a remnant of a tribal concept of deity. While in Islam, uh, we are taught to understand as much as human brains can understand that God is everything, that everything that exists uh, in Allah, in a, uh, in a kushe yarja in Allah, everything comes back. And this coming back has two meanings. One, that it returns to him after death, which is the destiny of every human being, every living being. And the other coming back in the uh, linguistic sense. Uh, uh, coming back to its root of thought, you see. And when I say, for example, this goes back uh, to Greek roots, mm -hmm. that means that it goes back logically in a chain until it uh, reaches uh, uh, its origin in Greek, in a Greek concept or so. And the Quran stresses that everything goes back to God as its source. God is the source of everything. What part does reason play? Reason plays an enormous uh, uh, role. I could tell you a small anecdote. Uh, during the last war, the Second World War, I was interned in India as an enemy alien because at that time I still had my Austrian passport. And uh, there happened to be in the camp a group of German Jesuits. And as you know, Jesuits are the most highly educated of all Catholic priests. So, as I was the only Muslim there, and there were people who were religiously inclined, and thousands of people around us who didn't care either way of, about anything of these things, so we were in permanent contact with each other. And they were intellectuals also. One could talk about things with them. And their leader was one, uh, a Bavarian, Prince Löwenstein, very, uh, very aristocratic old family and very edu well educated. And one day he told me, you see, Assad, it is a very strange thing. You were a Jew, 
For you, the logical thing would have been to become a Christian. <laughs> Why did you jump to Islam? So I say, I will tell you this. And before I tell you it, I promise you one thing. Not everything is lost from your point of view. I am prepared to become a Christian today, provided you answer me one question satisfactorily. And if you do, you can take me next Sunday to the chapel tent and baptize me publicly, and I will accept it. He said, strange. What is the question? So yes, I tell you, uh, I asked him, could you explain to me the Trinity? <laughs> so he said, you see, I said, this is a mystery. And we, we spoke German, mysterium, mm -hmm. which has a slightly different meaning than mystery in English. This is a mysterium. When you achieve faith, your heart will make you understand that. So I said, that was the reason why I became a, become a Muslim. <laughs> you tell me, gain faith, and then you will understand. My religion tells me, use your reason, and you will gain faith. Ah, yes. And so he gave it up. And I didn't become a Christian. <laughs> oh, my. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.